my question is, um, all my in-laws are die-hard Barack Obama supporters. Like, if you dare say anything, they'll say, oh, you're hating on Obama again. Is there any way to speak to people like that that doesn't cause a big breakdown in the family? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I, I, I think that the power of ideas and an educated population is uh, the only way we preserve our democracy. And this democracy was founded on the, on the notion that you know, people are going to disagree, and that we can't have groupthink. We can't have a monolithic view of the world. And so I think you just, if you, ha if you have strong feelings that are grounded in reason and logic that you understand, you should continue to speak your mind. And I think that I have it in my family. I mean, I grew up in a family where some people really believe in, the, in the public institutions and public education. And at barbecues, they don't even bring up education around me anymore. Because <laughs> I know they know I'm going to talk, speak truth to power in terms of what really should be happening with education and learning in America. I agree with that. But one thing I would say, and this is a lesson I have trouble remembering, is the point is not to win the argument with your mother-in-law today. The point is just to say, what you can as honestly and logically and compellingly as you can and hope that tonight, tomorrow, she might think about the things you've said, but, but don't try to pound her into submission today. Yeah, one other tip. The more people yell, then the lower my voice becomes because I do think that emotion doesn't win. And to your point, I think the more you're able to be calm and reasonable, it makes a difference.